Hello everyone, I'm going to do the presentation called Scheduling Optimization for Smart Microgrids considering two level transactions of electric vehicles and energy markets. This research has been made in collaboration with the University of Sydney and Universidad Nacional de Colombia. I am Julian. The outline is divided in two seven sections. They are introduction, contribution of this research, literature review, electric vehicle model with two levels of participation, description of the smart microgrid case study, results and conclusions. I am going to introduce the difference between traditional networks and smart grid. The traditional network organizes the generation, transmission and distribution processes in one direction. In other words, energy is supplied to customers in one direction. On the contrary, the smart grid houses stakeholders, such as smart microgrids, transmission generation that cooperate with each other. Stakeholders have a common goal of improving services, reducing losses, and increasing profits. This diagram explains the main contribution in the battery swapping station and residential electric vehicles, starting with the aggregator. Indeed, the aggregator increases profits without own interest. A small microgrid houses residential electric vehicles, load with demand response and photovoltaic generation. The arrows represent transactions between interested parties such as buying and selling energy. The aggregator can also earn income through energy transactions in the energy markets. Finally, the interruptive lines represent sources of uncertainty due to forecasts and estimates of energy prices, vehicle mobility, photovoltaic generation and residential loads. In the literature, we review the number of documents in battery swapping station per year by 2009 the battery swapping station generated interest in the scientific community peaking in 2018 and we worked in collaboration with the University of Sydney for their contribution to intraday electricity markets. According with the table, we contribute in the inclusion of five approaches such as a smart microgrid, energy market, electric vehicle prosumer, electric vehicle distributed, and residential electric vehicle and battery swapping station. Moreover, we listed the uncertainty of four approaches and our model is the most complete. The residential electric vehicles and the battery swapping station represent the electric vehicle model. Both represent two levels of participation. The residential electric vehicle contemplates the operation of a smart microgrid and a battery swapping station is incorporated as an external agent. 
the main objective refers to the reduction of costs and the increase of income. This equation describes the first participation level. The smart microgrid includes stakeholders such as distributed generation, external supplier, photovoltaic generation, energy storage systems, electric vehicles, negative and positive imbalance, and transactions in energy market. The second participation level represents the battery swapping station in three terms swapping batteries, penalties for not swapping batteries, and transactions in energy market. The amount of energy transfer is limited by the capacity of the electric vehicle battery. The two main restrictions of the model are by energy balance among stakeholders and battery swapping stations. The energy balance restricts that the energy bought and sold is equal for each period. The second one represents the state of charge of electric vehicle batteries. This equation represents the charging restrictions due to vehicles and charger technology. Also, the remaining hours for battery chargers can be calculated from the state of charge. The case study is based on electrical network from Portugal, then the electric vehicle cover an electrical network of 1.65 km in electrical lines. The microgrid includes two energy storage systems, 90 residential loads, five distributed grids, one external provider, 34 residential electric vehicles and 17 aggregated photovoltaic. The microgrid in the first level is developed by Group GCAB at the Polytechnic Institute of Porto. The second level represents a station with the capacity to exchange 15 batteries that offer services for 34 electric vehicles in one day. The programming of the battery swapping station was carried out in co cooperation with the University of Sydney, Australia. Optimization is done in two stages one for each level of participation. The optimization is done with the BNS DIPSO algorithm. BNS means the neighborhood search variable. This algorithm in its initialization defines the number of neighborhood structures to explore and in the repetition stage, the suboptimal is updated. If a best suboptimal is found, otherwise the search continues. The DIPSO algorithm originates with three algorithms, differential evolution, evolutionary algorithms, and particle swarm optimization. The new algorithm has the ability to generate new particles, self-adaptation power and exploratory power, in addition to improving the probability of communication between particles. The following results are obtained from the optimization process. The left-hand graph shows 
the charging periods for residential electric vehicles and the battery swapping station. Positive values represent the charge and negative values represent the discharge of electric vehicle batteries. On the right hand, the graph shows a wide participation of the wholesale and local electricity markets during the day. On the left hand side, the bar graph shows the share of residential chargers and the charging and uncharging schedules of energy storage systems and the right hand distributed generation photovoltaic generation and the external supplier show the power generated per hour. To summarize, this study shows some functionalities of hosting agents that supply and generate energy in a smart microgrids. The electric vehicle requested the services of the residential microgrid and requested the services of a battery swapping station. We analyze electric vehicles as a competitive transport alternative and in a realistic environment under the uncertainty of market prices, travel planning and demand for battery swapping. The VNS DIBSO algorithm allowed optimization in two stages, one for each stage of participation of electric vehicles. Finally, we recommend studying future connection modes between electric vehicles and the smart microgrid and between electric vehicles and the battery swapping station. Thanks for your attention.